Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Learn English with Salah channel. So today we're gonna look at the difference between for and to. Stay with us. Before we start explaining, let's understand the meaning of to and for. We use to to mean a transfer. I want to move something from one place to another, if I want to move myself from one place to another, if I want to move a discourse from one place to another, okay? It means I exchange. Sometimes it means I exchange, okay? For, it is used for something beneficial, okay? Or for good things, for me, for somebody else, okay? Let's move to the practice. I explain the lesson. Is it to you or for you? I explain the lesson. Let's go back to to means a transfer something that moves from me to somebody else or I move myself from one place to another place or I exchange for it is used for beneficial things or for good things okay I do something good for someone else so I explain the lesson here we use to it is to because this is a discourse that moves from me to somebody else I transfer a speech from me to somebody else. I gave a gift her. Is it to her or for her? I gave a gift. It is something beneficial for somebody else. So I gave a gift for her. It's for you. This gift is for you. So I put for her. So I get something beneficial for this person. I'm gonna talk about an issue means that I'm going to say something about something. It means that there is a discourse, there is a speech that will move from me. I will transfer something. So it means I'm going to talk to, to you about an issue. Okay? There is a discourse that moves from me to somebody else, to you, for example. I will not do that. Is it to you or for you? We can, we can say for it's something beneficial okay or something good so let's say I will not do that for you you'll benefit from what I'm going to do you'll benefit from what I'm gonna do for you I cook my guests I'm not gonna cook my guests but I'm going to cook for my guests I'm not going to take my guests my people and cook them on the stove no 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 not this so I'm co uh, I cook my guests, it will be I cook for my guests. Who's gonna eat the meal? Who's gonna eat the meal? Who's gonna benefit from the uh, the meals? Is my guest or my guests, okay? I cook for my guests, not to my guests. She goes to school every morning. So whenever we have go and a place, we use to. It means I transfer myself from one place to another. It's a destination. We use two for destinations, okay? So, she goes to school every morning. She goes to school every morning. So now, now let's move to small practice. I came to Canada. I need an A here. I came to Canada, work. I came to Canada, a new job. Just put in your mind that always we put to before a bare infinitive or a verb. So here we have to. I came to Canada to work, not for work, to work. I came to Canada, a new job. Here we are going to say for a new job. So to is placed before a verb and for before a noun. Okay? This machine is used make copies. We have here a verb. So I'm going to put to. 
machine is used to make copies. This machine is used making copies. We have a gerund here. So, for making. This machine is used for making copies. This machine is used to make copies. I came to Canada for a new job. And I came to Canada to work. So, to is replaced before a verb. And for is replaced before a noun or a gerund. Okay, guys, I hope that somehow now you get the difference between to and for and you can use them easily. Okay, so let's move to the quote. The quote says, Be strong enough to let go and wise enough to wait for what you deserve. Be strong enough to let go and wise enough to wait for what you deserve. This inspiration gives us the power to be patient and wait for the opportunity to show ourselves to the world. So try to be patient, try to be stronger enough to bear the difficulties and problems so as to overstep them. So I hope that you are fine now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in next video, inshallah. Take good care. Bye-bye.